Hi, welcome to another video on the graph analytics series. In this video, we are going to focus on clustering algorithm. The clustering algorithm helps in finding out connected components in a graph. And what do I mean by connected components? Let's take two vertices A and B. If there is a path from A to B, or if there is a path that exists between B to A, then we can group both A and B into the same cluster. Now let's take an example in this graph that's shown here. Now let's focus on this vertex B U R A and another vertex here D H O A. Now if there is a path that exists between D H O A and B U R A, or from B U R A to D H O A, then we can group both the vertex under the same cluster. But clearly, we can see that there is no way that a user can have a path to go from BORA to HQA or vice versa. Hence, these two vertex will be under a different cluster. Now, let's say if we consider another vertex, DHOA and TPO, then there is definitely a way to start from DHOA to reach TPO and vice versa. So these two will be grouped under the same cluster. Now we'll be using the same data set on our warehouses and we'll be running clustering algorithm on top of this to find out how many different clusters exist in our warehouses. Now let's go and create a data flow and bring in the graph to more data set. Let's click on add step and choose the graph analytics. Here we'll be choosing the clustering option. Okay, let's hide the outputs for now and let's focus on the parameters. So it basically asks for the source and the destination. Now going back to the output columns, it basically has two columns. One is a cluster ID and the other one is a node vertex. So you can go now and save the data. I'm going to give it a name. And I'll be using the same name for my table as well. Now my cluster ID, I would like to treat it as an attribute rather than a measure. And now I'm going to save and run the data flow. The data flow typically takes 30 to 40 seconds to complete its execution. Okay, the data flow is completed. Now this is a newly created data set, so let's create a project using the same. So we have the cluster ID and the node vertex, so let's create a table. So let's see how many cluster are there. We basically have five different clusters in our warehouses. But it would be a lot more visually appealing if we can see these clusters in the network visualization. So let's bring in our original data set on the various warehouses. And let's check the join. Okay, there is a join between the source and node vertex. And now let's bring back the graphical representation of our warehouses in the network visualization. So now the graph has been plotted. Now let's bring the cluster ID and add it as a color to the nodes. Okay, so now we see five different clusters. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is the cluster IDs are completely random, but all the vertices belonging to the same cluster will be assigned the same cluster ID. So now we can see cluster ID 1610 being plotted here. The light orange one is 1622, which is the next cluster we can see here. The darker orange 1624 is another cluster here and there is 1634 which is the cluster of vertices here similarly 1637 represents the bigger cluster note that all the destination only vertices meaning no source just arise from those particular vertex are by default colored by black by the network visualization that's why you see black color dots on the graph now we are able to run clustering algorithm and find out how many different clusters exist in our graph Thanks for watching the video.